Hello and welcome to the Elastic Community Conference. My name is Aaron Jewett and I'll be talking to you about how to build a malware analysis sandbox using Elastic Security. I'm a member of the Elastic InfoSec team. We are customer zero. We use Elastic to protect Elastic. We use all of the Elastic products before they're released to you in our production environment so that we can uh, work with the developers to make them as good as possible before they're released. Uh, everything I'm going to be talking about during this, uh, during this lightning talk is in this blog post uh, that was recently released about how to build this malware sandbox. Uh, please see that blog post if you want more details. Uh, why would you build a sandbox? Uh, this may be something that you're asking if you're a security analyst at a large corporation. Uh, one of the reasons that I built this sandbox is because I regularly get uh, users asking me, is this invoice, is it safe to open? Is this file safe to open on my system? Is this installer, is this okay? Uh, and I can detonate these in the sandbox and see exactly what actions are taken, exactly what files are written, network connections, et cetera. I can then use these, this information to do threat. If it is malicious, I can do threat hunting against the rest of my network to see if anybody else has executed this, any of these actions have been taken anywhere else. Uh, I can detect, create new detections so that in the future that we detect this type of activity. And one of my personal favorites is that this environment is a great training opportunity for junior analysts, for people that are new to look to investigating malware, triaging alerts. You can learn exactly what malware looks like in a safe environment, and you can use a copy of your production system so that you really see how it looks on your systems. Uh, why Elastic Security? Well, number one, it's free. Everything in this demo is included in the, in the basic license. Uh, you can set this up on a laptop. You can set it up using Elastic Cloud, however you decide. It's easy to set up. So you, I use uh, Elastic Fleet. You deploy a single agent to each host, and you use that agent to deploy all of your integrations to collect your window, win log beat data, your endpoint data, uh, everything you need to build this sandbox. All the built-in detection rules in the Elastic Security app will help you visualize the data. It will show you exactly what you detect and how. Uh, and then most importantly for a malware sandbox, malware loves to delete data, it loves to try to hide, it try to cover its tracks. Uh, so a lot of times it will delete all of the logs that you could use to investigate it. Well, we can stream that data directly to Elastic Stack in real time and keep it safe from the malware. Uh, one of the biggest advantages of using Elastic for your malware security analog sandbox is we now have analyzer view. The analyzer view is this lovely view here that is uh, being demonstrated. It's a tree graph that builds you a beautiful timeline of everything that's happened uh, from that process, all of its descendants, all of the files, network process, network connections, registry keys, et cetera. This works with elastic endpoint data and Sysmon event types. Uh, as of 7.11, the Sysmon is huge. Uh, Really quick summary overview of the th four steps here. Uh, once again, for more details, go to the blog post. So you deploy your Elastic Stack, uh, and then you configure your security roles, and off you go. Uh, very important to set your security settings to detect only. Otherwise, your testing will be very short because Elastic Endpoint will catch the malware and quarantine it, and you won't get to see everything that will happen. Uh, build your VMs as close to your production systems as possible. Although I recommend that you know maybe you want to turn off as many product protections or built-in safety mechanisms as possible, so you can see everything that would happen, because everybody knows there's always that one guy, one person who has the stuffs turned on for some turned off for some sort of exception in your network. Uh, also install Sysmon uh, so that that automatically gets collected with the Windows integration. Sysmon will collect uh, it, things such as uh, create remote thread or uh, named pipe creation. It can be very valuable. Uh, deploy the Elastic Agent on all of your systems. And then very important, make sure you snapshot after you've installed the Elastic Agent. So then every time you re uh, detonate your malware, you can revert right back to your snapshot. And also very important tip, everybody learns this the hard way. Don't accidentally run malware on your host system. So very quick, detonating some malware. I got an invoice, it's bad. Let me open this up. Oh, Windows had trouble. Something happened, documents protected, yeah, right. I come over here, I can see there was a malware protection detection alert. Click Analyzer, let me full screen that. And oh, look, I can see the whole chain of events. I can click on the libraries, the files, the network settings, and I see what happened. Thank you for coming to my lightning talk.